Hey guys, so, um, I, um, I know I haven't been, uh, able to put up any videos, but this is, um, I wanted to talk to you guys kind of like about what's been going on, uh, in the past week. So, for one, as you could probably tell, is that, um, my hair, uh, I have, um, changed it to brown, and this is pretty much, um, this is my original brown color, well, I don't think I'll ever be able to get back to it, but, um, this is what I'm going to stick with. I'm not going to be dyeing my hair anymore. I went and tried to get my hair cut yesterday and it was just so dead it wasn't even funny. Um, uh, today is Monday, but I'm going to be going uh, um, on my first day of school Tuesday, um, which is tomorrow. And so um, uh, I've pretty much been getting ready for everything. Um, I think it, yeah, it was last Thursday um, that... Um, I got my, uh, permit finally now that, um, I'm almost going to be 18, so that was just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, so, <laughs> pretty much, um, I wanted to tell you, uh, yesterday I went to Ulta, and I don't know, um, how many Ultas there is, like, everywhere, but I went and got a facial. Now, I already had, um, these two marks there. Uh, like that were just standing out out of everything. It was just like really bad, like scab type of things. Sorry to be gross, but um, um, I also had a bunch of other ones. And when I went and got this facial, it was like the best thing I've ever gotten. And it was just steam and cleansers and this and clay masks and just everything. She put medicine on my face. She put moisturizer. She did so much crazy stuff. And now it's like everything's clear except this and this and it's just so crazy how and this is no makeup on at all um and I just absolutely love it well um when I was there she was helping me pick out like a face wash and all that stuff well um uh she told me that um stick with my face wash until I run out then come back and we'll talk again about everything what I should be doing but until then when it comes to my makeup I, um, I'm running out of my Lancome, and I don't know if you guys can see, but, um, it's, like, almost gone. I can see through the bottle, and it's just, I can totally see through the bottle, and it's almost gone. Um, so what she did is she told me that, uh, it's good if I absolutely love this makeup, which I pretty much swear by this, it is worth the price, but then she gave me these little, this little thing, sorry, um, I've never tried a tinted moisturizer, and she kept saying, well, um, tinted moisturizer and BB cream are pretty much the same thing, but, um, I told her that there was just, it's just so oily all the time, I just see that a lot of people's face, they're just so oily when they use it, and it's just not good. So she gave me, um, a, uh, little sample size of, um, the tinted moisturizer, um, that's Tarte. And, um, uh, it's, Tarte's really good brand, and so I haven't tried it out or anything yet, and I'm going to be doing my first impression with it, um, tomorrow, because school and everything, so that should be up, um, by the end of the day. And, um, she gave me this, which is really cool, and she said try it, because there's a primer, there's just a bunch of things. You'll see my first impression, I'll talk more about it. Um, but what she did give me, which was a lot of, is this face wash, and let me show you, it's like so much, I don't know if you guys could see, but, um, it's just so much in here, I don't even want to tilt it, it's going to spill. It's like this clay mask thing, um, it smells like clay mask face wash, um, this is what she put on my face, and I guess it's like a, a special extra scrub that, um, you get, sorry, um, uh, that you should be doing, like, every two to three times a day, uh, not a day, a week, sorry, um, she used this on my face, and I absolutely loved it, and she just gave me this sample size, and it's really, really good, but it's by Dermalogica, and she said, just try it, and, um, What's really cool is that she told me to come back every four to six weeks to do touch up, twenty bucks touch up, and she does she'll do it because she knows exactly what she used on my face, and it's just really good overall. Um, 
and I think it was beyond worth it. Um, it wasn't that much money uh, at all. Um, you figure, oh man, this is ridiculous price. This is all you do is getting a facial. But um, no, I kid you not, my face feels like it can breathe. It's just never felt like this before. And it was my first facial ever. And I'm really, really good on taking care of my skin and making sure my makeup doesn't ruin my skin and they both go together. Stuff like that. And I couldn't believe how badly my face needed to breathe. <laughs> but um, yeah. Also, one other thing I wanted to talk about, because I keep touching my hair and it reminds me, is that um, I swooped my bangs to the other side. And um, I wanted to uh, share with you guys this thing that I've been using for a couple years. Um, more than a couple years, like a few years, for a while now. Um, I've had this for so long. Um, as you can tell, the outside is all messed up or whatever because I had it for so long. But it's by Bedhead. It's a T-I-G-I. And um, it's just this like wax bar thing <laughs> and what, what exactly it's just a hair stick for cool people it says and um it just comes in this really cool thing it's expensive very very expensive but it lasts forever and whenever you want your hair to go a place or it's not sticking right this is for your you put this in your hair you just rub it a little bit on your hands or you put it just like this um you just like there's a thing on the back you push and um, when you push it, it sticks out and then you just kind of like go in your hair a little bit. And um, because I swoop my bangs to the other side, I have to train it. So in order to train it, I have to use this stick thing. And I have some right here. I don't know if you could see how it's kind of more oily looking than everywhere else. But it doesn't make your hair oily. It just kind of feels like wax in your hair. And it comes out with shampoo, no big deal. And it's just like really, really cool. I love it. Um... And while I was at Ulta, I saw this um, brush that I wanted so bad because I didn't have a foundation brush. Um, and so I go, well, I have a foundation brush, um, but I don't like it. Um, I don't like um, the stippling brushes. I don't, uh, well, not for foundation. I don't like the flat, like, paintbrush foundation brush. And then... Um, I don't like the sponges. I mean, the sponges are really cool. I mean, if you have them, why not, you know? Um, it just, they, it soaks up the makeup, and it's a waste of it if it's inside your sponge and you can't get it out. And then my fingers, your fingers aren't always clean, whether you wash them and everything, but as you go to um, push down the pump, your fingertips are touching the bottle, and who knows when you touch this with germs, dust, whatever. And now it's on your face. So I just think that's pretty gross. Um, uh, so I got the Urban Decay Good Karma Optical Blur uh, Blurring Brush. And it says liquid and powder formulas apply, apply flawlessly with our optical blurring brush. The density packed shape distributes product incredibly evenly. Skin looks smoother than with a sponge application. Buff to natural, a soft focus finish. Fine lines seem to disappear and like all our brushes, it's pro quality and cruelty free. So um, this is what it comes like. I don't know if you could see that. But um, and when you open it up, my first time really, um, I haven't used it yet, I just bought it. And um, it's really heavy duty. That's what I love about Urban Decay's brushes. Even the one in my naked palette, it's all like heavy duty. I just love it. Um, and this is what it looks like. And um, I just love the brush. It's just so soft. It is so soft. I I just can't even explain. But um, I'm gonna clean it before I put um, my face on it. But um, I just love it. I don't want to keep it out of the container because I love all Urban Decay's like containers, their brushes, but they're so expensive. This brush now was $24 plus tax around $25. Um, pretty expensive, um, but I think it's worth it because if you keep buying cheapy brushes, you're going to have to eventually keep going to buy more in a couple months or however. and. The more you use them, the more you clean them, 
and then the more um, it just doesn't it just doesn't keep its softness it just goes really um, rough so um, I just figured spend a little extra money invest in a good brush and um, it lasts forever I had my brushes forever and they're pretty expensive huh and then it came with the uh, Selena Gomez um, what's it called her new perfume or whatever I mean it smells like a little girl but not bad um, I'm trying to think what else um, sorry that's my dogs um, pretty much I'm just trying to get out of my funk and um, I want to talk to you about my new hair and my new um, face that's going to be coming about um, I'm going to be going back to the gym I stopped going to the gym I gained 20 pounds um, I'm not really afraid to say that because I'm accepting it. I'm not going to be in denial. I know it. You guys could probably all see this and just, it's gross. <laughs> but, um, I stopped going to the gym. I was in a bad, um, depression and I just stopped eating. And then when I did eat, my stomach was like, oh, I'm going to keep the food. So, uh, because I don't know when it's going to get fed again type of thing. So, that's how that went. Um, I'm not doing that no more. Everything's fine. I'm going back to normal. Uh, first day of school is tomorrow for me at 9.45 in the morning. And, um, I will, uh, I'll give you updates or whatever. Um, I hope to post this later on tonight, so hopefully it'll still be Monday by the time you, uh, I post this up. <laughs> Alright, um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye guys.